Okay, what we're going to start with this video is, like I said, we're going to see a method on how is it that we can simplify radicals ut utilizing our TI Inspire. So to get started, first of all, we need to remember that the function that you need to open is a calculator page. So we will open a calculator page. Okay. And then um, we're going to use prime factorization. For you to obtain the prime factorization of any number in a T-inspired, you need to go to menu, number, which is number two, and then factor, which is number three. Now in our first example, the number that we have to factor is 49. So 49, and you just press enter. This is seven to the second power. This is the prime factorization of 49. Okay, we're going to start simplifying. So from our Inspire calculator, we know that square root of 49 or the factors of 49 is 7 to the second power. So I'm going to write it like this, square root of 7 times 7. The reason why I'm doing this is because you need to follow the following rule. Every time you have a pair, this means that one of them is going to come out of the radical, outside of the square root. So in this case, I have two sevens, one is coming out. What do I have inside of the square root? Well, nothing because they both cancel. So the square root disappears. And the square root of 49 is 7. Now this is a perfect square. That's why we know that this is the correct answer. In the second problem, we have the square root of 120. So we are going to use the fact, the prime factorization of the number 120. To obtain that, again, we go to menu, number two number, and then number three, fact. Inside the parentheses, we put 1, 2, 0, 120, enter. And this 2 to the third power times 3 times 5. This is the prime factorization of the number 120. Okay, now for 120, we know out of our Inspire, we're going to write a square root, and we count down that the factor, the prime factorization of 120 is 2 to the third power times 3 times 5. So that means that we have 1, 2, 3 number 2s, a 3, and a 5. Now remember our rule. Every 2, every pair, 1 comes out. So in this case I have a pair of 2's right here. So that means that this one is going to come out. 1, 2 is coming out. Now in this case, after we look at that, well I notice that they, this 2, I put them out already, but still inside of the square root I still have a 2 a 3 and a 5. So those are going to remain inside of the radical. 2 times 3 times 5. So the 2 will stay outside. We're going to write our square root. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6 times 5 is 30. So that means that this will be the square root of 30. And this will be the most that we can simplify this radical. In the third example, we have the square root of 169. So we're going to find the prime factorization of 169. So we go to menu, number, factor, 169, enter. 13 to the second power. That is a prime factorization of 169. Okay, in the case of 169, our TI Inspire told us that the prime factorization of 169 is 13 to the second power, meaning what? 13 times 13. So again, we follow our rule. Every pair or every two, one comes out of the radical. In this case, the number is 13. And once that we are aware that those two are going to cancel, we notice that there's nothing left in here. So there is no need for us to write again 
the square root because the radical because there's nothing going to be in it. So that tells us that this is our final answer, meaning the square root of 169 is a perfect square, it's 13. For our last problem, we have the square root of 245. So we're going to start with the factorization menu, number, factor, and the number that we have is 245. Enter 5 times 7 to the second power. That is the prime factorization of 249. In the case of 245, we found out that the prime factorization of 245 was 5 times 7 to the second power, which means 7 times 7. Okay. Every time we find a pair, we're going to have 2. That means the 1 comes out. And that means that now I have a 7 out. And what I have left inside. Well, those two cancel, those, that pair of sevens cancel. And now we see that the only thing that we have left is a5. So, that means that this will remain square root of 5. There we go. This is the best way that we have using our T-inspire to simplify any kind of radicals. If there's no pairs and you cannot take anything else, that means that there's nothing you can do and it's going to remain the same.